Welcome to another episode of Barbecue and Bottles and today we are going to be doing pork ribs out on the Cuisinart 360 Griddle Cooking Center. And for this we're just going to start with some ribs. We picked these up at Costco and we're just going to need to trim these up. We'll show you what we're going to season them with, how we do that initial trim, we prep them. We'll show you how we get it set up out on the Cuisinart Griddle and we'll take you through all the steps. So first, let's get the membrane off of these ribs. And this membrane, you'll see there's a nice shiny surface on the back of these ribs. That's the membrane that we're gonna try and take off. So just get in there with a dinner knife. Sometimes it takes you a couple shots to find an entry point here for your knife. You wanna get in there, loosen it up, peel it back like that. Now, the secret to this, then grab some paper towel and it peels off so much easier once you've actually got some paper towel. So just with this, gives you a little bit of grip and you can start to peel it off here. There, now we've got the full membrane. Just grab your ribs, pull it all the way down. There we go. So with our second one, just gonna do the same. And then here, get them out of the membrane. Now that we've got the membranes off, we're just gonna trim these up. So here, we're gonna come in between the bones, just trying to create a nice, even set of ribs. I'm gonna cut off this flap of meat here. We'll keep that, make some other things with it. We don't wanna waste that. Now you come down the other end, look here and we're going to carve this up right here. Perfect. So now we've got a rack of ribs that's nice and squared away. Let's do that with the other pair here. Again, we're just going to trim off this excess meat here. Now we'll find where the bones are and square that off as well. So now we've got some nice ribs. We've got uh, six bones on, on each of these racks. And now what we're gonna do is get these seasoned up. So to season these up, we're just gonna go in with a little bit of mustard to act as binder. So I'll just put that on there and work this around. This isn't for flavor. This is just to make sure that the seasoning we add here afterward it's gonna to stick to the ribs. And now we're gonna go in with some Creole mustard Cuisinart seasoning. This is gonna be incredible. So we're just gonna go in with a generous sprinkle, work that into the top, just like that. Do the same on our second piece. Beautiful. Flip it over, we're gonna do the same. Go on with a little bit of binder, and then just go on with a nice dusting of seasoning here across the top. Perfect. So these are the easiest ribs ever. You saw how quick they were to prepare. So we're just gonna transfer these to a cooling tray, and this is what we're going to smoke these on out on the Cuisinart 360 griddle. So we're outside, we've got the Cuisinart 360 grilling center that we're gonna fire up here. We're gonna get both of the burners going. That's gonna heat up this griddle. And what we're gonna do, we'll transfer out the cooling rack. The cooling rack will sit straight on top of the griddle. And we're gonna add some pellets for a little bit of smoke here and just give it that smokiness that you typically know and love about ribs. So with that, let's get started. So we're just gonna fire up the burners. Now you wanna make sure you're at a medium to low heat, just so that you don't overheat these ribs. There's a ton of firepower in this griddle. So make sure you're medium to medium low. And now that this is up to temp, we're just gonna put down some pellets here on one side. So we've got the pellets on one side. We could have used wood chips if you wanted. If you're going the wood chip route, just make sure you soak them in water for about 
30 to 60 minutes before you put them on the grill, which will just help them smolder and create that smokiness. Now with the ribs, we're just gonna place them on just like that. And now we'll come in with the top of the griddle center, put it on top like that, and we'll let this just grill away here for a couple of hours and we'll check back in. Now what you wanna make sure you're doing though is when you put the griddle lid on top, you wanna make sure that you've got your pellets on one side and then the vents on the other because that's gonna allow the smoke to come up, cross over the protein and the ribs in our case, and then out the vent. If you have your vent over top of your pellets, then that smoke isn't actually gonna impart the flavor to the same degree on your ribs. Now we're just gonna periodically be checking in on the ribs here, see how they're coming along. And we're just gonna wanna spray them. We've got some no pulp orange juice here, just put in one of these spray bottles. <clears throat> and we're just gonna be hitting them like this. Just to make sure we keep them nice and moist. And when you're spraying, you wanna spray about every half an hour. And again, that's really just gonna help keep the moisture in these. So to check if these are done or not, we're just gonna put this in. We're looking for a little over 195, 200, Anywhere between 195 and 205 is fine. So these look like they're great. Time to pull them off the grill. So we've had these inside. They've been cooling on the cooling rack for about 10 minutes. And now we're just gonna cut into them, see what how they, these guys turned out. So there we have it. We've got these ribs. We've got a nice flavoring on the outside, given that we use that Creole mustard rub. So let's now just bite in and see how the taste test turned out. So there you have it, folks. This is how you do ribs on the Cuisinart 360 Griddle Cooking Center. Super easy. This thing's more than just a griddle. You can smoke on it like we've just shown you here. We get the hickory from the wood and the pellets that we had used, and we're getting that nice Creole mustard flavor coming through in the rub that we used. So if you like this video, give us a like below. Let us know in the comments what else you want us to grill up on this griddle, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.